Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back doing another bracket, and this is going to be the bracket where I try to offend the least people possible because, you know, every time I do these, people get offended that I don't pick their team. I'm like, only... I can't have every team win in the damn tournament. So, you know, this is going to be the attempt to offend the least amount of people in a bracket. So, here we go. We're going to go Kansas, or we're going to go Yukon. This means I have, like, literally no upsets, really, because obviously the bigger schools are going to have more fans. So if we go through here, there you go. That's how, that's how the first round looks. Kansas, Yukon, Maryland, Cal, Arizona, Miami, Iowa, and Villanova. Moving on from there, we've got Kansas. And now here's a top toss-up between Cal and Maryland. We are going to take Cal out of here, Arizona, and Miami. I believe Arizona probably has more basketball fans than Miami. Miami has more football fans. So we're going to go Arizona. And we'll go... We go in Iowa or Villanova. We'll go, we'll go Villanova. So we've got Kansas, Cal, Arizona, Villanova. And we'll have Arizona play in Kansas in the, in the, uh, the Elite Eight. So Kansas, Arizona in the south bracket... And we're moving on to the, this is the East bracket. Yeah, East. So North Carolina, first game. We're taking USC in the second game. Indiana and Kentucky. Kentucky is obviously winning that matchup, but it's closer than you think. Michigan-Notre Dame is close on fans, but we'll go Notre Dame. Uh, West Virginia, Wisconsin probably, and Xavier. So we got... North Carolina, USC, Indiana, Kentucky, Notre Dame, West Virginia, and Wisconsin, Xavier, Wisconsin, moving on, we'll move Notre Dame on over West Virginia, Kentucky, and North Carolina, so we got a matchup in the Sweet 16 of North Carolina and Kentucky, and Notre Dame, Wisconsin, so now we move Kentucky on, and I guess we'll move Notre Dame on to play Kentucky, um, so we've got Kansas, Arizona in the south bracket, Kentucky, Notre Dame in the east bracket. So this is going to be a pretty quick video because there's not much to it. I'm just trying to offend the least people possible because for some reason people get offended by a random person on YouTube making a video about a bracket. Uh, so Oregon, Cincinnati has more fans than St. Joe's, Baylor, and Duke, Texas, and Texas A&M along with Oregon State and Oklahoma. So we've got a matchup of Oregon, Cincinnati, Baylor, Duke, Texas, Texas A&M, and or Oklahoma, Oregon State. Then we've got Oregon moving on. we got Duke moving on, Texas moving on, and Oklahoma. So we got Red River Rivalry meeting up in Texas and Oklahoma, and Oregon and Duke. So Duke moves on as well as, I'm just going to pick Oklahoma. That's really a toss-up, Texas and Oklahoma. Really a toss-up on who has the most fans. So we have Duke-Oklahoma in the west bracket meeting up in the Elite Eight. So from here we have Virginia and Texas Tech. We've got Purdue, Iowa State. I think Gonzaga probably has more fans than Seton Hall at this point. Utah, Syracuse, and Michigan State. We got Virginia, Texas Tech, Purdue, Iowa State, Gonzaga, Utah, and Syracuse, Michigan State. So we're going to take Michigan State. Syracuse probably has more fans, but we're taking Michigan State because uh, I want this to be a viable bra bracket. So we'll take Utah. I'm going to go Purdue and Virginia. Then we're going to have Purdue playing Michigan State in the Midwest bracket. So in our Elite Eight, we've got Duke playing Oklahoma, Purdue playing Michigan State, Kentucky playing Notre Dame, and Kansas, Arizona. So we are going to be taking Kansas and Kentucky and Michigan State and probably we'll take Duke. Michigan State and Duke. There's no way on earth Duke is making the Final Four. I just don't see it. Their bench is way too short. There's no way they're making the Final Four. But we'll have a matchup in the National Championship of Kentucky in Kansas. And then I'll have Kansas winning, beating Kentucky. Once again, probably a Kentucky fan will get offended that I don't have them winning the National Championship. Because I don't even know why. They just... 
I, I like your passion. I like Kentucky fans' passions for for uh, for basketball, but I mean, everybody cannot pick Kentucky. Like you, you, you can't. You, you gotta not get offended by people not picking Kentucky to win the national championship. They can't. They haven't won it every year, so obviously people they haven't won it every year. So obviously people have been right more than they've been wrong. You've been wrong way more than you've been right if you've picked Kentucky to win the national championship every single year that this has existed. Let's just point that out. So, pick, not picking Kentucky is not the end of the world. And if you're a Kentucky fan, you shouldn't get offended that people don't pick your team to win. The, because I go to other people's bracket videos and people are like, oh, you didn't pick Kentucky. Or you, did, or you didn't pick Kansas. I'm like... If you don't like their bracket, just don't watch any more of their videos. Like it, it's like it's that simple. Just just move on. Try to find yourself a Kentucky fan who's gonna pick Kentucky if that's what you want. This is supposed to be a little bit of variety here, but you know what? This annoys me. People people have been doing it for like two years. For the last two times I did this, last two not last two years, like three, two and three years ago, people were getting offended because I didn't pick their team. I'm like. I can't pick every team, so this is just a bracket for those people trying to be the least offensive, picking Kansas and Kentucky. For the, it could happen. Like I'm not saying Kansas and Kentucky isn't going to happen in the national championship. It very well could, but I'm just saying the fact that I don't have them there should not really offend you. You should be able to be okay with me not picking Kentucky or Kansas or whoever it is that you like. We should just just come to that come to that agreement that it really doesn't matter so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i made a bracket that offended the least amount of you uh but uh if you want to give me a laugh you know put, put something in the comments because it, it just makes me laugh but i thought i'd make this video for those people so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you all in the uh the next bracket which will be a little bit more actually i think the next bracket i'm going to do is going to be just my favorite teams and we'll see how far they make it we'll just see what wacky bracket we get with that so that's going to be the next bracket so we have a we have a bracket here that is for the people who want to whine and complain that they don't like my bracket uh and then then, then the next bracket will just be one that people whine and complain about because they'll think it's serious. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's going to do it for this video. Peace out.